some few weeks ago the shutter movement team and jagger four beaters we found ourselves in the region of upper east and it was a grand event called the shatawali live in bolga sponsored by jagger four beaters the show was really hyped the whole of the upper east region were ready to come out and indeed they came out in their numbers from zebila to tongo to navrongo to all the surrounding districts and areas or towns they were all in town they were all in the capital of upper east bolgatanga for us to do our thing it was large live at the bolgatanga sports stadium the whole place was choked Black Rasta will say the whole place turned chaka 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 chaka. Of course, it was. The whole place was choked. People came in their numbers. Security people had a tough time dealing with um, audience who came for the party because the numbers were plenty. We had to deal with them tactically. Now, during the performance, something transpired. And it was the fact that security people, because they were having a tough time dealing with the attendees or the event goers or concert goers, decided to be brutal on them. Some lashing them with canes, some spraying um, pepper spray into eyes of audiences and attacks almost among the fans. This, the leader of the Shatter Movement fan base, that a Shatter Wale was not happy. And I'm talking about the organ patak 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 at the top. Yes, he wasn't happy with how treatment was meted out to his fans. Decided in his spirit of anger and in his spirit of confusion and um, frustration, decided to vent a part of the frustration to his manager in the person of Sammy Flex. Told the manager that this is an act that I don't endorse. This is an act that I have not enjoyed when I am on stage. I want my fans to get closer. I don't want my fans to be beaten. Allow them space and they will behave well. Don't beat them. When you beat them, they misbehave. Allow them closer. This was the message given to the manager, uh, Sammy Flex. And once again, Ghana people said, Hey, Shatawale has slapped his manager. Shatawale is punching his manager. Shatawale is fighting with his manager. In fact, they put out all sorts of stories just to make the whole thing look the way they would want it to be they put out all kind of headlines just to make it sound good in their ears and not to represent the reality that happened no they were not interested in that they were interested in what to make them look good so all the negative stories were thrown about left right and center and again when it mattered most for us to explain for the people to understand i did i still used my journalism antics and journalism knowledge explain to the people and those whose ears were opened those who did not close their ears to the truth they later came to the realization that oh so this is it this was what happened why should people even take offense in this why should people cry more than they bereaved why people people take panadol for why should people take panadol for us for the for our headache like why why would you take panadol for us for our our, our headache why would you do that but as much as they wanted it that is how they did it now some weeks down the line i go online and i see a similar thing that happened in america and i'm here asking myself will these people go ahead and still explain it the way they are explaining it i am just here reading messages and everybody sees it to be normal but when it is about us no it is not normal now um this is what adam means actually shared and he wrote that TGMA do am simple cra kafra Chris he vex and it and this and this is the video Let, maybe I can explain the video to you even before you start uh, watching it the video is about Chris Brown who was doing an entry onto a stage for his performance 
and whilst he was coming down while he was sitting he was sitting on um like that kind of lovers bench that kind of rope uh -huh. let me just use that to explain it simple maybe there might be some technical word for it but for lack of those words that kind of lovers bench without rope chair on it where you'll be swinging that kind of thing uh-huh so he decided to come from that particular posture from the airspace or from top onto the stage and for whatever reasons however technicalities failed them chris brown at a point got stuck chris brown at a point was not coming down chris brown at a point could not be put on the stage it had to take the people to bring um, um, um how do we call it a ladder so he could come down on the ladder that was what happened because initially i know that was not a plan the thing was to come i think even the last um tgma if he singer if he also did same when doing his performance we saw him seated in some chair and coming down beautifully executed i'm sure that is why at the main wrote that um tgma did it simple but elsewhere in america somewhere in newark um chris brown and his team did not get it so it took one of the crew members to go and sort it out for him he brought the ladder and now chris brown had to rather rely on the ladder to step down and when he stepped down as a performer as he is at that time knowing oh my antics failed at that time knowing that the whole world has seen that what i wanted to execute i was not able to execute it well he spoke to um the crew member that bro you guys caused this maybe you guys did not do something right maybe you guys should have done this you guys should have done that and that was what was captured in video that everybody sees it no more that everybody feels oh this is chris brown who is not happy over an issue therefore he is talking about it yet when it happened here in ghana mm -hmm, people said no shatawale has slapped his manager shatawale is fighting with his manager now it comes back to what i started my opening conversation with are we villagers in ghana is ghana a village are we not learning some things are we not being so smart to know that some things are inevitable and when they happen we should understand that they were bound to happen are we not being smart to capture all these things it's a sad issue especially when it happens in some camps and my camp is one of such camps when some of these things happen in our camp to them it's a hallelujah for some people to them oh confusion has set in they are happy to them oh there is fight to them there is this and they are happy how long are you going to be happy for someone's misfortune how long are you going to jubilate over someone's downfall what exactly are you even going to get from it but that's what we see it happened to chris brown and messages in there everybody thinks oh it is normal it is no big deal and that it is okay and some people will think that oh when it happened in ghana and an artist is not happy and he speaks about it no that one they happen each other we, we should say this and that to us that is how we want to see it so if you live in a country where people see only negative if you live in a country where your positive moves always come out negative then you are we are sorry for you then you ask yourself are the people living in such countries are they villages is ghana a village that is what i want to ask simply with this particular thing well some of the videos are there watch them later after enjoying them we can discuss them later